All right, so I'm back on this harness with the big ECU plug. Um, so I'm going from these plugs that <clears throat> I've traced all the wires and I know what they do. So some of these wires are pinned into the ECU and we don't need them. So I'm going through and pulling these out and just to be on the safe side, every wire I pull out of the ECU I'm labeling pin 47, pin 66, I already got rid of, this is from the black connector, those are all labeled, these are mainly, like I said, clutch, cruise, everything to do with cruise, so clutch and brake switches, um, and then if you're curious, the CAN bus system, if you're deleting your immobilizer, which you really need to, to run this harness stand alone um, this CAN bus system you don't need you can wire it in and get a few better functions out of it but for what I need I don't think I'll need it so even if I do end up using it I know where it all wired in so I can just plug those back in and obviously these are cut on the other side which I would have to rewire anyway so I'm just gonna unpin those for now get this harness as small as I can um, just get a lot of the clutter out of it so I'm just gonna keep on pinning stuff that I know I don't need alright so I decided to delete the CCV heater <clears throat> I'm gonna do a whole different setup and I'll show you guys that when I get to that point but for now I am just going to delete these wires off the ECU <clears throat> and the one the power wire goes into <clears throat> this brown connection actually looking at this so that's just basically a heating element so it doesn't it looks like all it needs is power and ground so the ground's coming straight off of the those two top wires here are grounds and it splices in here one grounds and then the other one goes into the CCV and then this other power wire like I said runs into this plug and then it's just straight powered so no ECU plugs here just cut the power cut the ground and you're done Alright, so the last connection I got to go through is the orange. And we know that we have TAC and K line. So we got, definitely got to save those. Um, and then just trace these other wires. So this blue and white goes to the ECU. And I actually found a wiring diagram online. And so it's making it a little easier. That one goes to the instrument cluster. And we're obviously not running that, so we don't need it. Um, green white you can see there's a plug right there or where the pin goes in and I have this other side of the connector and let me plug it in real quick so you got green white coming in there there's no wire on the other side so obviously not needed um, and then just these other two I'll trace those out real quick figure out what they're for and you could even see here so that that green white was pin 28 that runs up to the connector and it even shows on here it's not used so clearly we don't need that wire so we'll pull that out of the ECU so I we'll just trace it up pull the pin out Okay, so green, that is this wire here, that's pin 29, so 29 runs over to the ABS system, we don't need the ABS system, it's going to be completely non-existent on this harness, so we can pull that pin as well.
So this was the other side of that ABS system. So there's a pin right next to it. So we can pull that one as well. All right guys, this harness is done. And you can see it's whittled down to the bare minimum. So, that's essentially how it's looking right now. One wire coming out of that one, gas pedal, power, couple uh, signal wires here, couple signal wires here, N75, and the MAF. Um, and then there's a ground there and that grounds. Make sure you don't, make sure you have both these pins because both of the pins on the ECU need to be grounded. So that's just splicing off into one. But other than that, we should be good to go. So that harness is a wrap.